Christ. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we have a new guest. Lee, do the intro. Oh, sorry. Co-host, not guest. Mm. Intro the show. Intro Doug. the show. The show is called Deeply Rooted Show. Intro the show. Welcome to the Deeply Rooted Show with Slee, Silo, and. Ugh. 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 The other also, boy. you're actually very rude. I'm going to your intro like a normal person. You've actually met, met Slu before. A hundred times because he dated my friend. <laughs> what? What lie? <laughs> you did. <laughs> Good friend. No, let's not get into it. You guys want. Okay, we'll start again. <laughs> <laughs> you did date my friend, didn't you? Or no, well, you played around with her a little, but who is friend? Oh my gosh, it doesn't count. It was high school. Oh fuck you! I didn't sleep with anyone in high school. I was a virgin. Slew. I was a virgin in high school. Well, you just still broke hearts. Oh, you could without the dick. Oh, Ima- <laughs> imagine now. Yeah. How are you, Slendy? So good. How are you guys doing? We're right. Is it? Yeah. How's your week been? <laughs> it's been a week, a week of responsibility. Okay. Accepting responsibility. Okay. And being in charge of responsibility. Sure. And you? My week's been okay. <laughs> I've just been trying to catch up with my soul, you know, like getting my body to catch up. But I'm in okay. Way, what's happening with your soul? Too many things. I think I need to, I need to sit down and actually look at my life. It's very hard being gifted. <laughs> I'm joking. Wow. No, I mean, I'm just recognizing that there's a lot of spaces that I could be in. And I feel like, I felt like I could yeah. try and do all of them, but I actually can't. Um, I was kind of hoping to use my psycho personality to... Have you tried all of them? I have. I, I'm doing currently doing all of them, but I, I'm struggling. So and I which recognize one, and which that. one's the one which makes you like not think about anything else? Hmm... <laughs> teaching i suppose the consultancy that for me is probably the thing that makes me feel like even if you woke me up at 12 i'd still do it sure. and i wouldn't be tired because it energizes me sure. but i think other things are just as exciting but they require more time what and did you teach capacity. no english and history Hectic. are you a qualified teacher yeah <laughs> why Unje, i'm joking what? <laughs> yeah, man, so then so then can you build can you build from that kick can you pivot off that the work that i'm doing now yeah so like as a core let's say your core function of focus is teaching or whatnot mm. and then can you build your like your next pivot could be something else that you're good at sorry Stu, before before you answer she's already branched out to other things like teaching is just like a side gig now yeah so <laughs> explain to us how you've branched off into other things rather yeah. so yeah because people are just teachers but you do so much more than just teach. yeah so mine was more mm-hmm. than just being in the classroom for the last year i haven't been in the classroom mm-hmm. as a teacher teaching a subject i've been doing diversity and inclusion work um what's that kind of doing anti-racism forums or writing policies at school to make it more inclusive almost cultural stuff so i would run leadership workshops for the kids teach staff how to navigate difference primarily in private school in private schools um, how do you do that? What do you mean? How do I do it? Like, what do you what do you see as plumber as exclusive? Which you'd come in and say, "Oh, this is a problem," and then we write a policy for it. So, what are the type hair of hair policy? Okay, <laughs> the hair yeah. <laughs> So, hair policy is a major one in most schools because um, a lot culture. of people, yeah. I mean, we also kind of really push it. Hundred percent. I just, I, I believe it serves them right. Why are you going into a white school trying to do? No, black there things? is no su- a white school. It's a school funded by white people who have their own culture, which is obviously different from black culture. You're mm. going into their system and saying they should change their system. And I get it. We are the majority of the country. Not even but that. But the hot, the easiest thing is to just build your own schools. Big dream, 100% valid. Build your own schools. But as long as people are there and I'm paying my money in my private school, then I am going to be included. If you're going to take my money, it's fair for me to say your policy can't be exclusionary. And so if my hair is big, right? I'm not saying have like a massive Afro to everybody and everybody can't see because you're there. But what I'm saying is you accommodate. You can't say that... Um, Can you say it's exclusionary? Because you're there. Yeah, it is. So you no, can't. No, I'm saying like you there. You at the school. You yeah, at the school. So it's not like they say you can't be at the yeah. school. So there's no like. 
So can you say, oh, you say they can exclude you based on if you do that hairstyle. Then you highlight whatever it is. So if you're going to create, for an mm-hmm. example, um, a hair policy, you have to consider all... Hair types. Not even hair types. I think... Culture, like, cultures. Yeah. Okay. Um, even Fagus Panda, like before. So mm. Kala, you couldn't do that you know, in, in an institution because it was perceived, particularly those that are Christian. Yeah. So then they would say things like, his Panda doesn't go along with their values or whatever, school ethos or whatever. Yeah. But as time has progressed and more black people have come into the space, yeah. they've learned what it's people's cultures and you need to embrace. It's not necessarily changing I think I think the only the only defense point is the constitution. Hundred percent. Other, other than that, other than that, I actually see why the why what? these schools are defensive. I see, right. but these schools were built a hundred years ago 100%. under different laws, 100%. and now the laws of the land have changed, and this is why it's being challenged. Mm. But at the end of the day. You'd have less challenges if you just built your own school. That's a simple answer. And I think it's... I know it's simple. It's a, it's a much more deeper and, and probably more complex issue because you resolve a lot of the things that are very obvious, right? Like if you feel like your school is racist, that black people can't really get into the system, even though we can afford it, you really just want your school to still have probably um, 60%, no, maybe 80% white and, and for whatever reason, right? Um, and so that becomes a challenge when people are inside the institution and are still feeling a particular way. Yeah. But when you made reference to a constitution, phenomenal compilation of words, ineffective if people aren't practicing it. 100%. And private schools don't necessarily have to adhere to a lot of things because you can evade doing a lot of things under the constitution, right? Um, I'll give you an example of what, I'm, of what I mean by saying you can still be exclusive but inclusive. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You can have Islamic kids come into the school, Mm -hmm. right? Which most do. Um, They will still attend chapel. They will still do all the things that are core values of the school, but you allow them to go in. You allow them. So you're not only keeping that school for Christian people. Mm -hmm. And the reason why they've changed over time is also because people who have money now look different. 100%. And so you need to accommodate those people. That's just fact. Building your own school is amazing, but black people also are problematic. Because about funi mina umdomyama teaching their kids, right? They yeah. also want white people, so yeah. there's that irony too. But this is why I say the only solution is a black school with two white people and a bunch of brilliant black teachers. Until somebody sends their kids, builds a school for their kids mm. for that. Because I, I, I know I don't even have kids to be even yeah. solving these problems yet. You know? Yeah. I'm just saying. And I'm looking at it from the outside. I guess too, also yeah. it's like it's results based. It's like once you see, once there's a reference point, once something's been done and then you see the fruits of it and whatnot, then you and can say it's okay. Nanda, seminar. Nanda, I was about to say, mm. but inking again is an issue of class and I suppose an issue of status. Yeah. Class where, where Middle class. Yeah, middle class. Income, middle so class I'm not going to go to Enandi. Yeah. yeah, I'm not going to go to Enanda. Whilst it's a great school, mm-hmm. the, the, the connotation, not even connotation, but the perception is that you probably don't have money or whatever, which is untrue. So black people tend to be a problem once they reach a level of wealth where they, com- the way, where they can compete, I suppose, with white people. They, their option then is, I want to just... Because we compare ourselves with white people. We don't create anything that's better than but, that. But sorry to cut you off. Only Wouldn't because you say our parents did that, though? I, and I only say because they perform in those spaces. It's performance-based. Because, because if... if, if 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 you don't have your own thing, yeah. right, which you can teach your own and build and pass yeah, on your yeah, own, yeah. and you are working in somebody else's thing, you're gonna want your child to be competitive within in that, that space. space. Okay, but I'm pretty sure we've had generations now. I mean, we have younger parents who come from wealth, and they're sending their kids to. But Kiro. they're still sending them to those particular schools. So nobody is coming up and saying, "Hey, we've established, we understand the system." We now have the means to build. Let's do something that may resemble, but is better and is accommodative of black people. Nobody okay. comes out and says that. Are you saying, so are you saying maybe like the black schools, which are like good black schools are missing out on, let's say wealthy black families in order to reinvest within the schools. 100%. 100%. Okay. That's okay. If, if, if black people for example, who have money and who are successful in that regard and have private school experience, 
if they were to go in under seminar, seminar for example at such a little school and invest in that school whether from um technology perspective to the quality and i'm sure the teachers like the they are phenomenal. Schools, but then you're building into that yeah. and then you build a culture of giving back to the school once you've left right but it could, that's what parents that's do what, to exactly schools. To some schools the network doesn't allow the parents to give back give back <laughs> properly to the school because sure. when imagine you're earning 150 a month and your school says oh this by leka what's up then my little worker new classes now now 10000 no cement or sale and go but waka now exactly 50 mm. bags of cement sitting in your storehouse you you gladly give it away some more mm. space in your room you know because you're of a level that has yeah, those you can. yeah yeah but only naturally if 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 my kid is going to that school that's what i'm no, saying that's, and that's what we're yeah. saying what's he, but, yeah. uh, she's saying what's but he? also i think in kinga uh, then becomes Wuti Tina the tendency is mine and mine alone and if that wasn't a thing right but again because you're performing in other people's spaces no but i'm no like i'm, I'm being competi- like i'm being like i'm not building with you right yeah so i'm competing against you yeah so if i'm competing against you it's going to still yeah yeah we good okay. it's going to be hard for me it's going to be hard to have that culture of like of building if that wasn't a thing that you then if you up for self if the business model is not is not based on communal growth 100% is what but I'm to say, yeah i mean you see it even in private schools though or would see the tendency for black families mm-hmm. to be the majority that are giving back i mean that's a very low percent in private schools yeah in private schools so yeah because it's not it's also not i'm also not thinking like it's my school Yeah, so yeah. it's growing. There's it's no growing. The communal aspect. There's no communal aspect. aspect. Yeah. There to get these skills. And then and once I have them, and out. Because yeah. in reverse, this is this is why, and I think I'm speaking out of my ass, but I'm just trying, yeah, trying to yeah. get an opinion Who's of uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, the burning of schools. Hundred yeah. no yeah. percent. There's no communal aspect to it. It's not my school. It's another way yeah. to attack the government. It's not my school that makes leaders for my community yeah and know? and we probably need to do a lot more work and even conversations around that um the burning down and the concept of burning down doesn't benefit anyone except us right so even in the looting in my location where you burnt the things that you're going to need it's only in hindsight that you realize oh my gosh now i have to actually take a taxi and go back to town yeah right mm-hmm. to go and do the thing that was so convenient before mm-hmm. and so There are so many other layers to that too. Um just the education around stuff. Yeah. The education around respecting things and understanding the value of buildings, understanding the value of education. So even with parents in private schools, if the conversation could be you get your child in a school but you take another child from another place and you pay for that child and then it becomes that whole communal thing. Funny and enough, if you have the means, well, your parents do that. Yeah. <laughs> and I think that's like a weird perception towards the things that we have around us. It is It definitely is cuz i think it's a perception based thing if you think about like yeah. if because in reality if your reality is like okay having the store here it's easy it's more convenient for me right to actually a- access it i'm not spending more my money to to spend my money, my money right right and you would think okay okay no it it's important yeah like if we're going to disrupt things let's disrupt things that don't necessarily yeah. affect me 100% or that or speak to the person directly which i'm trying to speak to Yeah. I 100% yeah. agree with you and I and I don't know how we have those conversations more often um because it's it's a perpetual thing like it happens almost every single time any time there is any form of political unrest people will always burn the things that they need you'll burn a library mm. you need that no but, but it's, it's not it's it's it's, an, it's, it's, not it's 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 again it's a perception of your world is nobody's You have to look at it from the person. It's very we're, we're very privileged to say how can a person burn a school? Yeah. A person has no fucking voice. Yep. And the only way they I think agree. they can speak is through violence. 100 and and it's fair. Yeah, well, so and like if, like people don't think like you. So how do we then how do we then create a, uh, an environment where people don't think like that as the next question or step as a society? The other part is sure. if 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 you're getting I I don't think like I don't think things begin with like extreme Yeah. Yeah, 100%. They yeah. start with Same I'm speaking, I'm what, I'm what to get ignored and what by the time and you burn your done. Po- yeah, yeah. 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 just like I I'm did. tired. <laughs> we've <laughs> been <laughs> saying none of this has we've worked. We've burned in this yeah, now. Yeah. We've sent letters, we've done it all. So I suppose again 
the wealthier get away with a lot of things because of that, right? Whereas Mina as a broke person, not even broke, but person who's not even middle class, Lambe, who's below, I, I, I urgency, I mean, for something to change is real versus people who can get away with it not working. Like, mm -hmm. you know, when my whole family depends on me finishing or graduating so that sure. life can be better. Yeah. And so I understand the concept of burning down. In the long term, I see Zmina in any case. Mm. So then what is it that we're doing in the middle of all of that to try and understand? It is a governmental issue. It is the people and leader and positions of making change that don't. Mm. I'm not saying people must go to their houses and do stuff yeah. there, but I'm just saying there's got to be a shift. In, instead of burning what yeah, I know I'm going to need, let's go to the people who are in power and in positions of making a change and going, well, sir, I'm inconveniencing you now. You know, yeah, you I, I, and I, only you. Yeah. I'm, I, I agree with you. Yes, it is. It is a government. It is a government issue. The seal is sorry. It is a government you issue. You say you agree with me. Oh I just, God. I need us to take a. <laughs> so you're not completely stupid. Oh, hey. <laughs> somebody must be coming tomorrow. Could be Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah. the problem is that society is not only made out of administrators, which is governments. Hundred percent. Society is also made out of businesses. So why is big business so quiet? Because we buy it as society, we buy at these shops. Yeah. So why are they so quiet? Because a lot of what we get paid from from big business and government as administrators yeah. and private workers goes into these private businesses and as well that we need our ids and our roads to work yeah. we're driving to shops we're driving to malls we're driving to resorts why are they so quiet because they're they're the ones really quick to make laws when they need their industries to to kind of slightly be eased right so when the people and the customer and i know i'm being entitled in a sense but i'm just asking why is it so quiet when if they help solve these things, they'll have less crime. They'll pay yeah. less insurance fees. It helps the bottom line. <laughs> so I'm just saying, it's like, it's easy to blame government. It's not my problem. It, it, Except exactly. it is. Well, it is. Mm. It, it, it's a problem that indirectly affects me. 100%. But it's not mine. But it's not mine. Right. No, it's, it's, it's a bottom line yeah. problem. The yeah. bottom line hasn't been affected I'm enough. Inconvenient. I mean, yeah, it's like, uh, the bottom line hasn't been inconvenient enough for me <laughs> yeah. to spend money to fix it. Yeah. Like Facebook, Facebook and safety, the, when they fuck up when it came to safety, they were like, oh, you fucked up. We're like, oh, we're sorry. Yeah. It, they'd have to hire people to work on safety for them to have yeah. a reasoning safety department. And why are we hiring people in a department that makes us no money? Sure. So it's the same thing with, with that's a business. I get you. Yeah. No, I hear you. I hear you. I suppose the community doug yeah you need to have to a have business. Like a community so, so what is it social social um it, corporate social investment exactly it it's it's, it's just no, keywords it, nobody's accenting it but because wait. nobody's going around kind of looking at how they're doing that but ultimately how does a big company do that though oh, oh, oh yeah. no uh, uh, i'm just saying how do you feel part of a community if i'm a big company that's all i'm asking N it's, yeah. it, it's 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 regional planning because yeah because if you're based yeah. in a particular place you look at the needs of that particular place yeah. you're not necessarily it's a planning looking it's at, a planning yeah. thing you have the resources. so you'll have a department in every single region and then there you identify not even in every single region you have a you can yeah, have a national you know you have a national department that vi that can visit regions it doesn't have to be that big bro no but, but you, you just have need to the be strategy the strategy is expensive because now you're saying i have to have an office in every region but you have to, to because no, there don't. has to be a team not that does that's the work business. that the implementation silo yeah, no, uh, if you can have a national office which is fine but you're gonna need to have somebody in a community this is why companies don't want to listen to you guys is you're telling them to spend more money instead of retraining the staff that are there to and do you, what to yes do what but that's saying. still but that's still a department that will be there it, you can't now be a person or you tailor and then also your responsibilities around community engagement work Ultimately, you need somebody whose sole purpose is to focus on yeah, identifying yeah, like issues. Yeah, you can shut down your shop. Of, uh, you can shut down your shop on unbusy days and send the staff somewhere. You know, to go do what? So, what issue so are you solving? Is my problem. That's strategy. So if you no, that's but that's strategy. an easier part. The implementation is where people fail. The, the fact that you would know as a corporate I, social I get investment you. I, thing, I agree with you. you obviously have to go into a space and you you have to identify those needs that are unique. You can't assume only that the space only that I'm in. No, but like also, also Babanga Ganan. Oh, no, I get you if you spark. No, but that's regional, what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, if if you're, spark, but you can always break it but down I could to be a some company. Urban, urban and rural regions and then have strategies 100%, and report back. Need, it takes time. It, it's not going to be overnight. But it's not right? hard. The strategy, it is not 
difficult. 100%. It requires you working with people within that community for the change that you're trying to I, I just believe good strategy has great implementation, especially if you really care because 100%. part of the strategy is planning and how do we move away from the boardroom and allow 100%. this to happen? Because that should be part of the planning. But it should be simple. Yeah, she's saying it just has to happen on the ground. It has to. It yeah, has yeah, to. So yeah, if, yeah, if I'm meeting, I can't also be up there Mm-hmm. Assuming that I know Wuti Abantu from the example crowd, the the where yeah, I live, yeah. I understand where they come from. I won't. And again, if yeah. your main thing is we give back and we build communities, sure. amazing. Uh, How do we translate that into the different spheres? Who then? Because I give the skeleton. Yeah. Mm. You put the meat that is according to your own community. Mm-hmm. And then we do a plan. And then somebody who's a major person, me, comes and then checks. Right. Wuti, and then okay. comes and checks that you're actually doing the work. Sure. But... A community engagement means a band of a community. Teacher. Yeah. Teacher. It's yeah. Can I can I talk about one? A big company, yeah. Bar One. Bar One had this campaign a, a while back mm-hmm. because sugar so bad. Um, Awful. And they sell it to us and then they thought, what if we'd sell a campaign where we go down to grassroots because DJ Tira was involved in this Bar One campaign. Wait, 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 wait. Oof. Wait, no, I was wait, 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 wait. Yeah. That's good. Yes! Uh, <laughs> wait, so this is Bar One. The, <coughs> C- the CEO of Bar One Germany was there at this specific campaign. All right. So so you see now how, how boardroom to end goal. And this is just one campaign. This is one that's... Benzan. What do you mean, Menzani? The fitness one on the beach. Yes, yes, the one I do with so, I'm just saying. Menza, okay. As a corp- as, as corporate social band, by me, yeah. we're saying people work out, which is good. It's a good message to put out there for, for, for sugar eating people. Especially if I'm getting them. Especially if I'm giving them poison. It's no. very ironic. I mean, I just besides the fact that it's no, but it's still a corporate social responsibility. You know, I cut down on sugar, like on the sugar. Uh, I'd rather I burn just, it off because I so like sugar. Eat my product. I like and then you. Exercise yeah. is yeah. what so you're it, saying to me. Yeah, I'm giving you the. the well, you're gonna eat it. Eat it. You're gonna eat it. Very. I'm have a sugar keep, problem. I'm and not, then exercise. But I'm not advertising for new customers to come. Eat it. it's it's the customers who are one. eating it valid. Who will come and get the exercise and, yeah, based on what I was be- feeding them anyway. And it, then that what they've been eating anyway. Okay, so sure. not um, they're eating it anyway. Are they so sponsoring for the year for the next five years for three years? What that, is it? No, so is it a once off deal where I get ten yearly, million Rand? For that yearly budget. He gets ten million, ten million Rand and, then for, and he gets ten million Rand to do that one active thing. It's an example. I, I, no, okay, but I'm just making an, an exaggeration, oh, right? To okay. to carry my point. You do something once off and then you say Tina as no, a I business. Totally no, we, I again for me that the consist in a country like ours, you can't afford to have a bite size without that being was a, a global campaign though. Come on. I, even those amazing if you're gonna do it in conjunction with something else. What is it that you're doing that's sustainable? You know, it, 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 and then it's and then, wait, wait. Can you not take those moves and then go practice ah, them at home? Nango. Yeah, what you've because learned if, if, if I release, other people. Because if they release blah, blah, they play the same playlist. Yeah. yeah. They play the same playlist or a video recording of the same thing, which you can have access to go Forever. watch on YouTube. Forever. Guys in. And, and every day you can Forever. join in the fun. So now you them. show me once and then you're like, okay, so let's use it. I'm empowering you. It's like the Apple Watch. You can't. Uh, <laughs> it's like the Apple Watch. We know you're working. We know you're working hard. Because we can, and you know we know you're stressed. And we've got one more screen for you <laughs> that can distract you here every day, so you don't do anything else but and come back to work on time because it wakes you up very nicely without your partner waking up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so it's you're going to work anyway. Yeah. Okay. I I don't agree with that strategy as a some as something that like no, it's the same energy. Implement, like, like like you wouldn't implement that strategy no i'm happy for it if mm. because we're doing so much work throughout the year then we have these pockets of moments where you get people to go and jump around like awesome exercising people that mm. for me sounds awesome i think mm. it's great that you would bring people together and also then kind of do a whole campaign so around you see the silver lining what is the silver lining? That's the that one that you mentioned mention now. now. Yeah, we'll see. it's great that people came together to exercise. I, okay, when did they do it again? It's still an answer that I haven't got. Ah, so was it once off? Or no, was they it did a, it. I think they did it nationally. Could, are you, what? It was national. There's no way. They, no, nobody comes from wherever yeah, Bowen is from. So you want to, to give alone. you a personal trainer for the No, I'm oh, just okay. saying, mm-hmm. if the AMS CSI, right, mm-hmm. um, 
is to give back. I just think you need to do it sustainably. No, bro. You know what? You know what the problem is with companies, with organizations, is that great people come in, but then because they do great work, they get headhunted and they leave. And it's hard okay. to fill in those gaps. That's that's what you're talking about. Why doesn't it carry on? Because the person that did the Coca Cola, the Coca Cola ad with the names on the can, got moved. Because of that somebody wanted to thing. pay double the salary because they want to pay for that brain to come make this. But work. I don't need a single silo for a concept that can be run whether you're there or not. And part of being sustainable means that you're putting in place systems that work whether you're there or not. And it is practical to have it rely on you. Very and few you, companies lost 100 years, Lee. Do you Understand think, that. Okay. The companies go through phases. Shh. Very few companies lost 100 years. Do you just think the primary problem here is that we don't have societies of small businesses, just community-based? That's 100%. It's As opposed like people. now, it's like, it's these big companies or yeah. these big things and these whatnot. So e like, Yeah, so you sort of, everyone, the whole community is striving to get into a position. Yep. It's fighting for a position. Everyone's fighting for a p- p- and position. And there's too many of us. And then also, I mean, that also creates a disconnect from you feeling like you're part of it or own it mm. or you can respect it or, or yep. you know, whatnot. So if you had more communal businesses, if, yeah, it would be, it's our thing. As yeah. Because it's the blood, it's the... You see this at work as well, I think. There's some people that you'd say that you can call lazy at work. Uh, they just, there's the disconnect of, dude, you doing this well means not only are you going to get yeah. paid continually, the security most people seek, but should the security of this job go away because you're actually action doing the job yeah. well, something else is going to recommend you. Now, you don't even have that to fall back on because... When are you abusing the system that keeps you sustained? Sure. Yeah, I get it. I get. I 100% get it. And I agree I think, but. with what you guys are saying. Not bad. I think <laughs> <laughs> that if we truly understand... So maybe let's process what is CSIE and Zan, right? Mm, mm, mm. Because if it's to develop a community... So been a, in it, in CSI. Corporate social investment. Sure. You can even call it corporate social impact. Sure. Whatever it is that you want to call it. So it means that a deeply rooted, la existing, right? Mm. As a business, we're making money. What I send it, money, Jalo, guys. We're going to make money. Um, <laughs> so if that happens, there has to be somebody in your team who can identify a need, mm. right? I'm getting Sasha in the area that we're in, but I'm just saying, even if it's to go Tina Sizo Tata, um, who want to learn whatever skill set that you need in order to run this yeah mm. without them having to pay and so you're doing work 100%. from your profit to ensure that somebody else benefits from that 100%. and so if if really our passion in south africa is that and to do it intentionally you don't scatter your your campaigns you work with one community over a period of time and, and, and empower but a whole you know why community. I do that. Get our text but you know why I would do that? But you know why I do that though? Because yeah. Deeply Rooted would be a small company in a community. So I'd feel attached. I'd feel... I know I'd the people like, that make yeah, articles about. Yeah, so... What? so, But I'm, I'm just saying from... It's like how... Not to say we shouldn't, yeah. Yeah, but how we want the government to solve all the problems. They should. No, right, they are, they right, yeah, yeah. But so ideally, because it's, it's like big business, it's just it's just the societal structure, the power structure in which this time, right. in terms of the time that we're living, hundred percent is I, using right. So we've modeled all our thinking around mm. this is how to solve this problem, right? Whereas yeah. when you look at in in, in and other limited time, other solution and thinking a limited time to thinking about other solutions because we're mm. so attached to these the government the should, government has the government yeah. should you know like but silo uh, and mm. I know some people don't have like it's it's a hope thing but again if hope you don't have what? It, it, hope in I the light is there I've seen people go there and have light if you look at just how people close to the ruling party um, get opportunities. So it's easy to, without information, to yeah. think that that is the easiest way out. Yeah. But, and again, I'm not, I'm not excusing any potholes, any mm. lack of SOE maintenance. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm not even speaking on government. Yeah. No, yeah. But it's just that. at no. some point, no. because 
you are society yeah. now. Eh? Yeah, 100%. You, what is the little that you can that you that you're doing for society yeah. now? Eh? So and that comes to information for you to be able to booza. But I, I think also if Bigger aside, the the people currently uh, governing this country, sure. very little interest there. But if you're going to look at big business, government, eh? zero time. Mm-hmm. Um, if you're going to look at businesses, and and for me the main focus is them. Uh, very little, not hopeless about. No, no, no. It's not that. Mean the way I love this. Okay, look at, I charge. Look people. at that ring. I charge people still, but look, my my whole thing is. If you are a business, there needs to be somebody who can scale the impact that you're making in an area that you're in. As a compuls mm. like mm. it has to be compulsory for businesses to give back and not in the way a... that we and not but we in this country are so corrupt. That I think I think I think you're right, Stina. I just want to add on to what you're saying is I that I cannot believe this is happening to me. Oh what? You've said it twice now. Ah, that you're right. Yeah. yeah. You're not, <laughs> you're not it's, it's incentives. And this is yeah. why as much as we can blame the the ANC, but let's blame everybody in Parliament. Let's blame the DA. Hundred percent. Let's blame the EFF. Let's blame the FV, FV because those are the guys that create the laws, and that's the people that create the incentives. For because yeah. as human beings, we know what the incentives are. When we have zero um, percent interest rates for black-owned businesses as a law at banks, that especially when you get okay, at least they must have this, and yeah. it's reasonable. Then now the incentive for banks to give black businesses money yeah. is made at parliament and they have no say because it's the law of the land like yeah you know anyway mm. it's 30 minutes we have to go to mb it's a saturday oh and, yeah and stuff yeah we have to shut it off um we'll talk we will be back soon yeah why do you think why do you think you why are you so shocked when you talk about your work he says that you're right because <laughs> you're good at your work Thank yeah. you. I just like mm. shitting on you. I know. As a person. As a person, I like shitting on like you. Like you oh. shit as a person. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like at your work, at your work. Like you you're you're brilliant at work. work. Yeah. Like as right. a person, I as just a person, like, like a person, you're, you're crazy. You need some work. Can I just say something before <laughs> we, Can I just say something before we close? Can I just say something yeah, to you yeah, guys, yeah, yeah. assholes? Anyway, yeah. I, I do want to say that what is disappointing, perhaps our generation, is mm-hmm. that the the ruling party or whatever and and not because i'm bashing them there's so many good things that they are doing yeah. but i think they're raising a generation who is a direct um correlation to how they are so they are exact mm-hmm. you raise mm-hmm. people mm-hmm. with the thinking you're good see i don't have to be anything i've just got to know somebody mm-hmm. and so for me the responsibility in small businesses the responsibility in position and then butcher the job so for me the problem there is Middle not only that the 70 year old people that are there who should be retired and really enjoying their lives they also they raise are. people <laughs> with the same culture yeah you know yeah, yeah, they're yeah. raising people who think if you're in power if you're in the ANC I don't have to be anything I I just that culture for me is toxic and so the responsibility around giving back and making true impact purely relies on businesses who are not held to the account that they should be or at least mm. doing sustainable but things But can you imagine though like can, can can you imagine Divide. being the first <laughs> power structure okay the first black power structure that comes into power and what not nah. and then because we still pretty much stuck on the first gen. Yeah. No, the right. pro- there's a right, it's actually, still first so gen. There's a chart. There's a there's a chart that that shows um, how the liberating party, I think, doesn't survive like 50 years or so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It goes because yeah, it, yeah, yeah they they go, they kinda, cause it's the down. first gen. Yeah. yeah, yeah there yeah. has to be some some next level of this country, and I think this is what Ubaba or Mashik this is is is, is like no ANC. If if the if the alignment as a party is no longer to the benefits and the needs of the greater majority of the people, then they should step aside because they are no longer yeah. the vehicle needed for transformation of the country. Yeah. Anyway, you were saying slu Eseval. I was saying um Oh Deeply Rooted dot world Radio DR I'm joking, Doug. Okay, let's go. I did forget. Did you? Thank you. Bye. Bye.